Hey, our friends, today we're drawing another character from the Bad Guys movies. Mr. Piranha. Yes, we hope you're going to follow along. We're going to draw him attacking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jumping in the air. Yes. You need your marker or something to draw with and some paper and... Something to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw his eyes, and we're going to draw them right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. We're going to draw the left eye a little bigger than the right eye. So we're going to draw a circle first. We're going to start by drawing a circle about this big. We're going to come around like this and then come back up. And it's okay if the inside of the circle is a little flatter. This is towards his nose. Although he doesn't really have much of a nose <laughs> at all. <laughs> now let's draw his other eye. We're going to leave just a little space right here. And we're going to draw a squished circle. So we're going to draw it so that it's a little more closed. We're going to come down like this. We're going to curve around. Then we're going to come back up and then connect back into the top. Yeah. Then we're going to draw his pupils, and we're going to draw them towards the inside of each eye. Okay, now let's draw his mouth. And we're going to first draw the top of his mouth. We're going to draw a, it looks like a smile, but we're going to turn him into a crazy attacking piranha. So <laughs> there's the top of his mouth. And then we're going to turn it into a big jelly bean shape. We're going to start here on the left side, and we can curve around. And then we're going to come down further like this. We're going to come back around to the other side, and we're going to curve into the right side. Yeah, big jelly bean. Nice. Now let's draw his teeth. We're going to first draw the letter W right in the middle. So we're going to come down for one V, and then another one for to complete the W. Then we're going to draw another tooth on the right side and also the left side that match. These are a little smaller than the center ones. And then we're going to draw another even smaller one right next to these. So we're going to draw one here and one over here on this side too. Now let's draw his teeth on the bottom of his mouth. We're going to draw the letter M right in the middle instead of a W. Now let's draw another upside down V shape on the left and also on the right to match. And we can draw another one right next to that one too. And this one's maybe a little smaller. Now let's draw his tongue. And his tongue is really big inside. We're going to draw a curve that comes out on the left side. We can come up and connect to his teeth and go in between his teeth too. And then connect over here to the other side. So we've got kind of this big oval shape inside. Now let's draw his head. We're going to start here, right above his mouth and next to his eye, and we're going to draw an upside down U shape that comes up over the top, and then we're going to come back down next to his right eye. Then we're going to draw the rest of his head coming around his mouth, and we're just going to repeat the same shape. So we're going to trace around but we're going to leave some space around it, but we want it to look the same as his mouth. So we're going to come down here, keep going across, and then come up on his right cheek, and then connect in with a little curve. <laughs> it doesn't really look like him yet, because we're, we're missing... The eyebrows. Yes, the eyebrows. <laughs> the part that makes him look angry. <laughs> we're going to start right here next to his eye, and we're going to draw a diagonal line that touches the top of his eye. We're going to come up high like this, and then right at the end, we're going to curve back down to connect to the left side of his head. And we can come back up. We'll start in the same spot where we ended, come up higher, and then we're going to come back down to a point. Then we can color in that shape. Now let's draw his other eyebrow, and we're going to draw it a little lower. We're going to start here in the same spot on the other side. Draw a diagonal line that comes out to the side and then curves down right at the end. Then we can start in the same spot where we ended, do the same thing, come up higher, and then come back to where we first started. And then color in that shape as well. And anytime we fast forward the video or go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, for extra time. Let's add a few extra wrinkles, though, on his face. I'm going to draw a little curve right here. 
And then we can also draw a little curve underneath his eye here. And we can also draw some curves on his cheek. I'm going to draw a couple over here too. Let's also draw the spikes or his hair. It it's, looks like hair, but I think it's more like spikes, yeah. piranha spikes. We're going to draw an upside down J. He had a longer little curly spike right here on the front. Then we're going to curve up higher like this and then come back down almost to where we start. But we'll stop there. Then let's draw another curve that comes out to the side. And we're going to draw some letter U's connected to each other. So we'll draw one like that, and we can draw another one, and this last one's gonna come out to the side a little more, and then we'll connect into his head. We did it, we drew his head. Now let's draw his arms, and we're gonna draw them coming out to the side because he's flying through the air. Let's start here, and we'll draw a curve coming out of his cheek. We'll come up and out like this. I'm gonna come a little more out to the side right at the end. And then we can curve around and connect into his head. Then we're gonna draw two lines coming out of his sleeve. So we'll draw one here and one here, and they're, they're also coming closer together or tapering. Then we're gonna draw his little thumb at the end of the left line. And then we can draw the rest of his fist and arm or hand coming in to his arm. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here on the right side. We're gonna draw it coming out this way. So we can draw a little line, just like we, we did over here. Then we're gonna start down here for his t-shirt and we're gonna come up past his cheek like this. We're gonna come up a little higher and then we'll come out to the side. So we want this distance right here to match this distance over here on this side. Mine's a little wider. That's okay, yeah, that's fine if they don't match exactly, that's okay. Let's connect these two curves or two lines with the same kind of curve right here for his, the end of his sleeve. And then we're gonna repeat this same step for his arm over here. So we're gonna draw two lines coming out that are tapering or getting close together. And then we're gonna draw his thumb next, little U shape. And then we'll draw the rest of his fist coming around and connecting into his arm. <laughs> there we go. Now we can draw his legs and he's jumping through the air. So we're gonna see one of his shoes, the bottom of his shoe on this side, and then the side of his shoe over here. It, it kind of looks like he's running in the air. <laughs> we're gonna draw an oval shape that comes around and back up. And it's kind of a square oval shape too. And it's also tipped diagonally. There you go. Then we can draw the inside of his sole or the bottom of his shoe. We'll draw that same shape that matches, comes around. Then let's draw his knee coming out of his chin right here, curving around for his leg and then connect to his shoe. Nice, now let's draw his other leg over here and we're gonna draw it bending and kind of pointing out to a different direction. So we're gonna draw his knee first, curving around and then coming down. Now we're gonna draw the rest of his leg. So we'll leave a little space for his ankle and we're gonna draw the other side of his leg curving up and we don't wanna connect it. This is where his knee is and it's bending his leg. Then we're gonna draw the rest of his pants coming across and connecting to his other shoe. Now let's draw the bottom of his pants. We can connect those two lines. And because this shoe is further away than this one, it's we're gonna draw it a little smaller than this shoe. So we're gonna draw the front of his shoe coming down like this and curving for the toes. Then we can draw his heel coming out. And then let's draw the bottom of his shoe or the sole, connect and then we draw two shorter lines and then another line for the, the white part, the sole of his shoe. And then we can also draw his shoelaces. We'll draw a little line here and then connect up to the top. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing Mr. Piranha. He looks really cool, except we still need to color him. Yes, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video 
to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. It. We finished drawing and coloring Mr. Piranha and he turned out so cool colored in. Yeah, we used our markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home. Yes, and if you have the same biannual marker set, we used Y114. This is kind of a yellow green, for, and we use this for the middle of his face. And then on the top of his head, we use G503 right here, and then a darker green for the little spikes, we use G406. And then the very bottom, we used Y713. Yes, that's this orange color on his chin. His pants, we use CG07, that's a dark gray. And then for the bottom of his shoes, we use Y611 and Y529. Y529 is the darker brown we use for the texture. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Mr. Prada. Yes, I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.